Grade 3 math, number 61. Divide by 9. Here's our rules. Dividing by 9 means you split the number into 9 equal groups or you put 9 in each group. Either way you could do it. You find how many times 9 can fit into that number. We have a word problem here. I'm going to use my favorite person, Emma. There are 27 children in Emma's classroom. Here's the 27 children. If they split into groups of nine, how many groups would there be? So we're going to have to put nine happy little faces of Emma's classroom children into different groups, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's another group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the last group. How many groups do we have? Three. Twenty-seven divided by nine equals A. Remember, A is what's called a variable. A variable is an alphabet letter that takes the place of a number. And it can vary what it means. In this problem, A could mean 3. In the next problem, A might mean 5, or it might mean 249. We don't know. It varies for each problem. Okay? So A is the variable. A equals 3, because we have three groups. Okay? Now we've got this one. 18 divided by 9 equals X. X equals what? So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups. We're going to count to 18 and take turns putting dots in the groups to find out how many dots will end up in the groups, okay? Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That makes sense because we know there's 9 groups. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many dots are in each group? Two. So x equals two. x is also a variable. Some other problem, it might equal 315 or 7 or something, but in this problem, x equals two. Okay? 9 goes into 63 how many times? This is long division. We've got our number line with our 9 uh, times table on here, so we can skip count. All right, we're doing 9 goes into 63. Here's the 63. Let's skip count and find out how many times we jump to get there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We jump 7 times. And the 7 goes above the 3 because we're putting 9 into 63. We're not putting 9 into 6. If we were putting 9 into 6, which we know it won't fit, but if we did, then the answer would go above the 6. We're putting 9 into 63, so the 7 goes above the 3. Now we do our multiplication, 9 times 7, which is 63. We subtract, and we get a remainder of 0. Okay? Let's try this one. 9 goes into 36 how many times? Okay, well, here's the 36. Let's skip count and see how many times we skipped. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. 9 goes into 36 four times. Now we do our multiplication because 9 didn't go into 3, it went into 36. 9 times 4 is 36. We do our subtraction and we get 0. Let's try this one. 45 divided by 9 equals y. y equals what? Okay, where's 45? It's right here. All right, let's skip count and find out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. Y equals 5. Because 9 times 5 equals 45. See that? That's the inverse. The opposite of division is multiplication. Let's do a different kind of long division problem where it keeps going. Now in all these other ones, we put the 9 into both numbers because we couldn't put 9 into 3. We had to put it into the 3 and the 6, 36. Now, we say, can 9 go into 1? No. Can 9 go into 10? Yes. How many 9s can you fit in a 10? 
you can fit one. See? We're not going into 108, we're going into 10. 9 times 1 is 9, and it goes below the 0, because we line them all up, and we do our subtraction. 10, take away 9, is 1. Can 9 go into 1? No. So it's the 8's turn to come down. I put the 8 here. 9 goes into 18 how many times? 2. So we're going to put a 2 above the 8. See? Because that's the column we're in. And then we're going to do the multiplication for 9 times 2, because we already did 9 times 1. Now it's, we jump over to the 9 times 2's turn. 9 times 2 is 18. We do our subtraction, and we get 0. See? So 9 goes into 108 12 times. See? Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times. So those are different ways you can figure out how to divide by 9. You can circle groups. You can fill in groups. You can use skip counting. You could also use the subtraction method, which I've shown in previous videos. Keep doing your times table. Try to memorize them the best you can. The quicker you are in your times table, the quicker you'll be in math. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.